Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One still here. Uh, still Monday. It is the 1st of April. You're going to see this video at 3 o'clock on Tuesday though. And I got to tell you, so I'm earlier right, I said, oh, look at the dark clouds moving in. Ah, we're not going to get any rain. We're all, you know, we're not going to get any. It downpoured for probably 10 minutes. Um, and I mean, it was coming down. I was out there looking, I was like, man. <laughs> I was like, well, because I was going to go check on eggs. And I'm like, well, I'm going to wait and see if this, uh, this rain passes or if it's going to stick around. So, um, obviously it passed over. And so that was that whole mess right there that we just had. Nice little torrential downpour for a minute. And, uh. I was going to show you uh, how heavy it was coming and it looks like we might be getting some more coming in so we're going to have to pay attention to that but uh, if you look over here well, there we'll walk over. what are you doing you nut job if you look over here and this is of course now all muddy water's coming down right down the hill running down through this way um, and running out and I think we are getting more rain coming in <laughs> so um, anyway uh, I wanted to talk in this video guys we're gonna probably go in the pavilion or maybe we'll stand under the canopy so we're not standing in the rain we'll do that we'll go over here love the thunder I love a good rainstorm always have uh, Ever since I was a kid, I absolutely love a good rainstorm. So we're going to walk into here and we'll stand over here. And it's starting to come down a little bit more. But anyway, all right. Uh, China is upset once again. And I think this, guys, I'll tell you what, I find this really amusing, okay? So China has claimed, if you guys have been paying attention at all, China has claimed that they owned 90% of the South China Sea. They say it's theirs. That's it. End of story. Uh, no argument, nothing to talk about. It's theirs and that's it. And everybody else needs to get away from it and stay out of their territory because they have claimed it, right? And uh, everybody knows the situation that's going on with the Philippines, with that shoal, and... Uh, they grounded a ship there, which China does not like at all. And so they got an outpost on there, uh, you know, keeping an eye on China, right? And a lot of what is being done, is it at the behest of the United States? Of course it is, right? But the United States is the reason that Japan, the Philippines, and other areas in the region are not just swallowed up by China, Taiwan included as well. If we weren't there to be in the way, China would take that whole region and, and declare it to be theirs. And there's nothing anybody could do about it. But because we're in the region and we have our own interest in why we want to keep things not all in China's hands, that's why they're not happy and that there's an issue. So right now we're doing, uh, there's going to be a joint lateral uh, cooperation thing between the United States navy japan's navy and also the philippine navy and they're going to be doing some maneuvers in the south china sea well china is all upset about that of course and they're complaining and they're saying that the united states is you know causing unnecessary problems and that uh, the philippines and japan are just uh you know ploys and toys for uh you know uh, to do America's bidding and all this type of stuff. I guess maybe it's not going to... There's like a light sprinkle. I thought it might be more, but I don't think it's going to be right yet. Watch, I'll get out here and it'll start downpouring. But, uh, so that's... God, I love that. And that's all coming from back here, folks. That All that thunder and stuff you're hearing is all from back there. So... There does seem, now of course I stepped out here, so now it's starting, you can see it's starting to rain a little bit harder. So we'll go back under here. <laughs> I, I knew, I knew, it's the minute that I walked out, it would start raining harder. So we'll go back in here. 
All right, but anyway, so we're doing this big uh, exercise with uh, the Philippines and uh, Japan. And of course, like I said again, China is not happy about it because they're claiming that this whole... I don't know where they get off, uh, honestly, claiming all this territory is theirs. Uh, just because they say so doesn't make it so. Uh, just because they're the biggest bully in the block over there doesn't mean that another bully might stand up for the weaker people. Now, again... Uh, you know, the United States has its own interest. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, I, I, I've, I've said that for a long time. I mean, we don't do something unless there's something in it for us. <laughs> you know, and if we can be a thorn in the side of, of China, that's what we're going to do. Um, that's, you know, that's a fact. So, it's all, like I said, it's all games. It's all part of the stuff that's going on. Um, does it surprise me in any way, shape, or form? Nope, not at all. And I think you're going to continue to see these type of things going on. This poking back and forth and this, uh, you know, uh, ramping up of the, you know, I'm going to push you. Like, have you ever seen two bullies standing there and one pushes one and then the other pushes the other one? And then one goes, well, you hit me first. No, you hit me first. That type of thing. You've ever seen those type of situations? Well, at some point, the two biggest bullies are going to go at it. That's just a matter of time. And right now, in the world, the two biggest bullies are the United States and China. So I'm not trying to say, oh, the United States, we're the good guys. We're just wonderful and fantastic, because we're not. I'm not saying that we are. But, uh, again, eventually, once I, and this is what I believe will happen, once China feels like they're strong enough, uh, militarily wise, uh, technology wise, and all those type of things, then I think they're going to get froggy and they're going to make a jump. Uh, it's just, it, to me, it's a matter of time. And I've talked about this before in other streams, and I definitely see this happening, uh, you know. And like I said, again, it's not a, not a good situation um, at all. And uh, so I think it's definitely something that we need to pay attention to. Uh, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Do you think we should be doing these type of exercises with the Philippines and with Japan in the South China Sea? Are we doing it intentionally? That's another question I have for you. Um, are we within our rights? Okay. So these are all things that we definitely, a lot of questions to ask, a lot of questions that are going to remain unanswered, obviously, but I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback on it. Remember, folks, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one stopping you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. Have a great day, and I will see you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.